What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another Hitman 3 video. In this video, we'll be tackling the game launching with a black screen or simply not launching at all. This should help you launch the game if it's currently experiencing issues. First of all, this game requires DirectX 12 to run. It is incompatible with DirectX 11 or another previous version. Make sure that your graphics card is powerful enough to run this game by simply checking the minimum requirements or doing a simple Google search followed by DirectX 12 to see if your graphics card actually supports it. If it does and you're still experiencing a crash at startup, there's a couple of things that we can try. So the first thing is a possible issue with your PC and the game running in full screen mode by default. To fix this, when you click on the game to start it up, you should be presented with an option screen showing exactly what you can do before the actual game launches up. I simply clicked it inside of Epic Games and you should see the launcher in just a moment. There we go. Before we get into starting the game, click the options button over here and make sure to change the monitor to the correct monitor if you have multiple ones, then choose a correct resolution and set the display mode away from full screen to say windowed or full screen or exclusive full screen depending on which one you have selected. By doing this, it should help fix the issue. Of course, if HDR is set to on and you don't have an HDR display, set this to off as this may also cause some sort of an issue. Make sure that the GPU at the very top is also the correct one as on some laptops, you'll have an integrated one as well as a dedicated one. After doing that, and clicking save, you should be able to launch up the game and play it as expected. Another reason is that Another reason is that the game could be blocked or be overly monitored or protected or something like that by an antivirus on your computer. I use a paid for antivirus, he said internet security, but if you're using the normal Windows built-in antivirus, there's a very simple way to whitelist it. If you're using other software, I won't be able to show you how to do it for that, but it should be relatively simple after a quick Google. So let's go ahead and make sure that it's allowed through the Windows Defender firewall. Simply hit start. Click on the settings icon, then make sure to click update and security and head across to the Windows security section. Inside of here, click virus and threat protection and then a new window should open up as such. Inside of here, under virus and threat protection settings, click manage settings. Then scroll down and under exclusions, click add or remove exclusions. Then click add exclusion folder and I'll be navigating across to where the game is installed. Because this is a virtual machine, I'll go ahead and say it's in my documents folder over here, inside of say Hitman 3. I'll simply select it, and then click select folder. After clicking yes, the exclusion has been added. Now the game should be able to run without issues if it's your Windows Defender causing issues. Next up, let's go ahead and make sure that the game is running as administrator if issues are happening. Simply close out of the Epic Games launcher completely by closing the window, finding it in your icons tray, right clicking and then clicking exit. From here, hit start, locate the Epic Games icon, right click, more and then click run as administrator. If the icon's on your desktop, simply right click and then click run as administrator. After doing this, head across to your library, locate Hitman 3 and simply launch it up. This time, things should work properly. If you're using any overlays such as Discord, River Tuner, Steam or anything like that, make sure to disable all of those as they may be causing some sort of an issue. When you've disabled them, hopefully your game should be running properly. Some people are reporting CPU issues causing the crash. These certain CPU issues can be fixed through the NVIDIA control panel, but of course this is limited to just NVIDIA, unless you can find these settings on AMD and hope they work. Right click on your desktop, NVIDIA control panel, then under Manage 3D Settings on the left hand side, simply head across to Global Settings or Program Settings if you've defined custom settings for this game, then locate Hitman on the list of programs over here. If you don't see it, click Add and then select the game from the list of recently ran programs over here. I have Hitman 3 and selected Program. Now inside of here, all we're going to do is look for Low Latency Mode, which is over here. Set this to On or Ultra. Then scrolling down further, you'll find triple buffering. Make sure that this is set to off, as for some people it could cause crashing because it's taking advantage of multiple CPUs. Now we can close out of this. Hopefully at this point, your game is running properly. If you're still running into issues, make sure that A, your graphics driver is up to date from Nvidia or AMD's website, and B, make sure that Windows is fully up to date as well. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.